Welcome to Yoga Express, the mobile stretch clinic that takes yoga to the people. Before we move on with this episode of Yoga Express, I would like to thank our wonderful crew, our director, Jabari Osazi, our wonderful camera person, Danny Darrow, and our facilitator, Drew Taylor. Thank you all for doing such great teamwork over the last couple of days and for today as well. And thanks to Josiane Hurd, Josiane is seated here very humbly. I know she's a total yoga addict. She loves doing what she's doing. She loves stretching. And she's great company for me because I love stretching too. So Josiane, are we ready to take our viewers through the entire sequence Let's do today? It. We've been promising them that we'll do it in about 20 to 24 minutes. Let's right? do it. So we're we'll going to try. Before we move on, Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and Fios. 35 at 1.30 in the afternoons. That's Eastern Time, 1.30. We have a postcard with a full sequence on it and a fridge magnet to help support your practice. We also have a website, Yoga Express, Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S dot com, and a blog, yogaexpress.blogspot.com, besides a book called Yoga Secrets. Okay, enough of our propaganda. We are going to stretch. We're going to take you straight through 48 postures and we're going to do the best we can if we do not finish yeah, all 48 yeah, our request to our director yeah. and camera person please no, keep no. the cameras rolling maybe our viewers will stay with us okay we're <laughs> going to stagger ourselves heels together toes slightly apart hands by your side inhale bring your arms up to shoulder height palms facing down keep inhaling take your arms all the way overhead palms facing in hasta uttana Arms raise. Exhale. Fold from the hip with a straight back. Pada hasta. Hands to feet. Inhale. Bring your arms up to shoulder height. Exhale. Bend at the knees. Utkat asan. Thunderbolt. Inhale. Let's come up. Exhale. And release. Let's turn to the right. Trikon asan. Triangle posture. Legs are out about three and a half to four feet, depending on how tall you are. Put your brakes on first. Feel nice and secure. Turn your left foot out. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height. Lean to the left just a little bit. Exhale, dip your torso to the right. Left uh, to the left. Left arm comes in front of the left leg. Right arm goes all the way up. Feel a wonderful stretch in your abductor muscles on the outside of your upper right thigh and the inside, the adductor muscles on the inside of your upper left thigh. Inhale, let's come up. Now this time I'm gonna stay here. We're gonna continue on the part. We're gonna transition into the other two postures, Virabhadra. Exhale, bend the left leg at the knee. Keep exhaling, dip your torso to the left. Right arm goes all the way up and hold. Take your right arm all the way overhead. Parsva Kona. This one is Virabhadra Kona, actually. Brave warrior angle. Inhale. Let's come out of this posture. Inhale. Straighten your left leg at the knee. Turn your left foot in. Turn your right foot out. Sole of the right foot aligns with the heel of the right foot, aligns with the sole of the left foot. Exhale. Bend. Oh, actually, before we bend our knee, triangle posture. Exhale, lean forward to the right. Keep exhaling, dip your right arm in front of your right ankle. Left arm goes all the way up. Hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale, let's come up. Hold it at shoulder height. Exhale, bend the right leg at the knee. Keep exhaling, dip your right arm in front of the right ankle. Left arm goes all the way up. Keep exhaling, take your left arm all the way overhead, palm faces down. Inhale, let's come out of that posture. 
Inhale the arms up, unbend the feet, legs, unbend the knees, turn your right foot in, wiggle your legs closer together, 12, about eight to 12 inches apart. Place your palms on your buttocks, elbows go back, shoulders are nice and open, and your chest is out. Inhale, lift your chin up all the way. Once you get past midpoint, start exhaling. Glide your hands down the back of your thighs. Keep exhaling. Bend your knees if you have to. Make the connection. Do not suspend your hands in midair. You'll build pressure in the back of your neck. Inhale, let's come up. Now, let's do a little twist. The interim twist, Josiane. You're suggesting doing a little bit of an interim twist before we go forward. What we just did was an intense back bend, Tiryangasan. We're going to counter that with Ugra Asan, an intense forward bend. Bring your feet out three and a half to four feet, a little more than you would normally do. Put your brakes on. So bring your toes in. Inhale. Bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. Exhale with a nice straight back fold from the hip. Place your palms nice and flat between the feet and bring your feet out just a little more so you could fold over. Try to touch the crown of your head to the floor. You should feel a wonderful stretch in your adductor muscles inside of your thighs and the back of your legs. Press with your palms, elbows are close. Inhale, keep your back nice and straight. Pause at midpoint and wiggle your feet a little closer till it's safe to come up. Palms together, arms are extended. Inhale, come up with a nice straight back. Exhale and release. Let's wiggle our feet closer together. We're going to come forward, face the cameras. Heels are together, toes are slightly apart. We're going to go into Ardha Chandra Half Moon. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Clasp your palms in any manner you've been taught. I'm going to hold my, uh, clasp my fingers across, well, the fingers of one hand across the other palm. Exhale, dip to the right. Inhale, come back up and dip to the left. Exhale, to the right. Feel a wonderful stretch in your obliques on the left side. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, to the left. Inhale, back to the center. <laughs> Exhale, bring your palms in front of your chest. Hands in front of your chest, palms facing down. Feet are apart about eight, eight inches apart. Uh, the feet are out, eight inches apart, toes are in. Exhale to the right and to the left. As we go right, swing your right arm out. Exhale to the right. <sighs> Inhale back to the front. Exhale to the left. <sighs> One more time, this time take your hips with you. Exhale to the right. Inhale to the front. Exhale to the left. Take your hips with you. Notice the difference between when you take your hips with you and when you don't, when you keep them stationary. Now this time we're going to exhale, relax, transfer the weight to your right leg. Tree posture. What we just did was Kati Chakra, spinning wheel. This is next one is tree posture. We're going to Lift our left leg, hold on to the left ankle, attach the sole of your left foot to the inner right thigh. Look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. Place your palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. Inhale, lift your arms overhead. And before letting your feet leg come down, exhale, take your left leg behind you, foot is flexed, torso dips forward. Hold, inhale, let's come up. Now, without putting the foot down again, let's keep transitioning, see how far we can go. You wanna try that, Josiane? Let's mm -hmm. give it a shot. Right hand is on the right hip, hold on to your left big toe with your left hand, and extend. Feel a wonderful stretch in your hamstrings on the back of your left leg. Inhale and release, take your left hand from behind, Hold on to the left ankle with the left hand, Natrajasan. Inhale, raise the right arm up. Look at a point in front of you that doesn't move. Exhale, dip the torso, lift the knee. Inhale.
inhale, come out. One last balance transition. Transfer your left leg over the right calf. Move your left leg over the right calf. Try to twine the left foot around the right calf. Left knee is over, right arm comes up. Exhale, dip your right elbow over your left and hold. Garudasan, Garuda is eagle. Inhale, come out of it. Whoo, finally we get to rest our left leg on the floor. It does hurt, but we're transitioning. Transfer the weight to your left leg. Hold on, we're going back into the tree posture. Hold on to your right ankle with your right hand. Left hand is on the hip for balance for now. Attach the sole of your right foot to the inside of your upper left thigh. When you're ready, place your palms in front of your chest, elbows are raised. Inhale, bring your arms overhead. Look at a point in front of you that does not move. Exhale, as we take our leg back, right leg goes back, torso comes forward, and dip. Tola Danda, balancing scales. Inhale, come up. Now place your left hand on your left hip. Hold on to the right big toe with your right hand. Inhale and extend your right leg. Feel a wonderful stretch in the back of your right leg. Take hold on to your right ankle from behind. <laughs> Natrajasan. We're going to try and transition as many postures as possible without letting go. Inhale, raise the left arm up. Exhale, dip your torso, lift your knee. Almost there. Wrap your right foot around your left calf. Right knee is up, inhale the left arm. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left. No, left elbow over the right. Exhale and release. That last posture was called Garudasan or Eagle. Now, just before the Natrajasan, where we had our legs extended, I forgot to tell you the name, it's called Uttita Pada. Uttita is raised, Pada is foot. So it's raised foot. Now we can relax. All the balanced ones are over. Good. The terrible ones are over. Heels together, toes slightly <laughs> apart. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Hold on to your opposite ankle, opposite elbows. Take your biceps nice and back behind your ears exhale fold from the hip uttana uttana is forward fold it's also known as ragdoll you suspend your body in midair this is one of the few postures where you do not have to make a connection because you're already holding on to the opposite elbows place your palms on the floor okay. we're going to go into parvat asan parvat is mountain in North America, it is also known as Adho Mukha Shwanasana. Adho is downward, Mukha is face, Shwana is dog, downward facing dog. Take your left foot back, and then your right foot goes back. Heels are on the floor. You should feel a wonderful, wonderful stretch in your calf muscles, the plantar fascias, the back of your ankles, and below the soles of your foot. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Ashwasanchala. Ashwasanchala is equestrian. Ashwini is horse. Ashwasanchala is equestrian posture. Place your left knee on the floor. Uncurl your left foot, the toes on your left foot. Let's come back just a little bit. Inhale, raise the left arm. Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. This is, um, what is this? Oh, yeah. This is Parsakona Namaskara. Place your right palm over the left palm, right elbow goes up. Look up at your right elbow. Inhale and release. Come on all fours. Cat position. Hands. What's that? You have to do the other side also. Oh, you do. That's right. Thank you, Josie. <laughs> That's a wonderful reminder. Now bring your, we forgot to do the other side. Thanks to Josie Ann. We're not going to feel an imbalance today. Left foot comes forward between the two hands. Palms are on the floor. This one I'm going to take my left knee back just a little bit because I was ready to go into cat. Inhale, let's come up. <laughs> I almost <laughs> forgot that, thank you. Inhale, raise the left arm up. Exhale, dip the right elbow over the left knee. Place the left palm 
over the right palm and hold. That's hold your position, not your breath. Inhale, let's come out of that. Now we're going to go into cat position. Get on your knees, toes are curled in, palms are directly below the shoulders, knees are directly below the hips. Now palms are nicely splayed. We're going to inhale, bring our chest and buttocks up and dip the torso. Inhale, come up. Exhale, arch your back, uncurl your toes. One more time. Curl your toes in. Dip your torso. Exhale, arch your back, uncurl your toes. Bring your knees forward. Let's come directly into camel or ustrasan, camel position. This, a, this is a camel with just one bump on the back. <laughs> Single camel. Okay, if you want, you can curl your toes in, but remember when you curl your toes in in order to have your hands reach the heels, there is pressure on the knees. So you have to make a choice. I'm going to keep my feet flat. Place your palms on your buttocks. Bring your elbows back. Inhale. Exhale. Glide your palms down the back of your thighs. Reach for the right ankle with the okay. right hand, left ankle with the left hand, and tilt your pelvis forward. Inhale, bring your right palm back on your buttock, left palm comes up, and okay. then bring your head forward. We're going to come down in Supta Vajra, Supine Diamond. Sit on your heels. Place the right palm and the right elbow on the floor. Adjust your buttock on your heels if you need to, on the soles of your feet. And then place your left elbow on the floor. Once both elbows are down, tilt your head back. Okay. Now, the stronger you feel today, the closer your knees should be. If you feel you're not, very, you're not feeling very strong today, you're very tired, you can bring your knees out. I'm going to try and keep my knees together. Press with your palms. Let's come up. Press with the right hand and then the left hand. We're going to exhale and fold from the hip in forward rabbit position. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Exhale, fold from the hip. This is rabbit or shashank asan, where your hips will try and stay on your heels. Inhale, let's come up. Exhale, let's get into Adha Matsyendra. Half, Lord of the Fishes. Adha is half, Matsy is fish. Matsyendra is the name of a sage, or whose name literally means half, Lord of the Fishes. Tuck your left heel under your right buttock. Right foot goes over the left knee. Push your right knee in. Talk your upper body to the right. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, dip the left elbow over the right knee. Hold on to your left knee. If you cannot touch your left knee today, the shin or ankle, or even the outside of your right thigh, place your right palm behind you and look to the back. You should feel a wonderful stretch in your abductor muscles, the outside of your upper right thigh, and a beautiful twist in your waist. Inhale and release the left hand first, then the right leg. Let's switch legs before Josian reminds me to do the other side. <laughs> Tuck your right heel under your left buttock. Left foot goes over the right knee. Push your left knee to the right with your left hand. Talk your upper body to the left. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip the right elbow over the left knee and hold on to your right knee. You might notice that the left foot is flat on the floor. Right foot faces the back of the room. Left hand is behind you. Oh, thank you, baby. Thank Look you. to the back. Inhale, release the right arm. And then the left leg, extend the right leg out. <clears throat> Make sure your right foot, extend the left leg out. Right foot is flat on the mat, very close to the inner left thigh. Now, lean, turn your body a little bit to the left to give yourself room to move forward. Inhale, the right arm up. Exhale, fold over, twine your right arm around your left knee. Try to clasp your right hand, the fingers on your right hand with your left hand. Yes, I did it today. Look to the right. Okay. And hold. Hold your posture, not your breath. Look up. Hold your chest out. Open up the left part of your chest. Inhale and release. Extend the right leg out. 
left leg falls in, left foot is flat, very close to the upper right thigh. Now push, now what you're gonna do is turn a little bit to the right, inhale the left arm up, exhale, fold, and twine your left hand around the left knee, hold on to the left hand, with the right hand, clasp the fingers of both hands together, and look to the left. Make sure your foot is flexed, chest, right side of your chest okay. is nice and open, and hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale and release. Bring your left knee down on the mat. Keep your right foot extended, Janu Sirsha. We just came out of a posture called Mari Chasan. That's also the name of a sage. This is Janu Sirsha, head to knee. Sirsha is head, Janu is knee. Inhale, bring the arms up to shoulder height. Take your arms all the way overhead. Exhale, fold from the hip with a nice straight back. If your palms do not come over the sole of your foot today, that's perfectly all right. Place your hands on your ankles, shin, even your knee. It's perfectly okay. If you're able to touch your forehead to your knee, great. If not, at least try and feel the stretch, the hamstrings and the sciatic nerves stretching behind in the back of your right leg. Inhale, let's come up. <coughs> Exhale and release. Going to switch legs, extend the left leg out, right leg folds in, <coughs> right knee is at a T to the left leg, face the extended leg, inhale, bring the arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down, keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, clasp your palms together, exhale, fold from the hip with a nice straight back. Make sure your foot, extended foot, the foot on your extended leg is nice and flexed. You should feel a beautiful stretch in the back of your leg. Left leg, keep exhaling. Inhale, let's come out of this position. Okay. And let's keep our arms there, Josie, and just so we can transition. Extend both legs out, flex your feet. How are we doing for time? Oh, we have five minutes. Exhale and fold. Inhale, let's come up. We're gonna try and move a little faster. Tuck your right leg, this is cow face. Mm -hmm. Right, a left heel under the right buttock. Right heel goes over. So right knee is over the left knee. Left arm comes up, inhale. Exhale, dip your hand behind your neck. Take your right hand from behind, clasp the fingers of the opposite hand. And let's hold on, this is cow face. I have no idea why it's called cow face, but I like it. Inhale and release. Let's switch legs. Right heel goes under the left buttock. Left foot, left knee goes over the right. Try and align both knees one on top of the other. Left is over the right. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, dip your right hand behind the back of your neck, your trapezius. Take the left hand from behind. Clasp fingers on the opposite hand together. And look up. Inhale, very gently, very gracefully. Swing your left leg all the way behind you. <coughs> Adjust your knees, extend your legs out, keep your foot flat. Okay. Exhale and fold. Inhale, let's come up. Swing your left leg forward, swing your right leg out. We're almost there, and a few. Maybe we won't make it, but we'll try. Right leg is out, exhale, and fold with a nice straight back. Danny, just keep the cameras rolling. We're gonna try and finish it today. Let's come on our knees in Mahamudra. We went, we were just in Kapotasan, Pigeon, Josian's mm -hmm. favorite. We're gonna sit on our knees, clasp your opposite elbows from behind you, or you can take it in what's called a reverse namaste. We're gonna clasp opposite elbows today. Exhale. Fold from the hip. Lead with your chin. Inhale, let's come up. Let's go directly into full boat, Paripurna Nava. We just came out of a position called Maha Mudra, Grand Gesture. The next one is called Paripurna Nava. You have to engage your lower abdominal muscles to get your legs off the ground. Inhale, keep your feet flexed. Inhale, lift your legs off of the ground. Keep your foot Feet nice and extended, legs are extended. Inhale, lift your arms up to shoulder height. Inhale and lift. 
Exhale. Release. Very gently, you're going to come into cobbler position. But the corner, bound angle or cobbler position. The soles of both your feet touch. Clasp both your feet together with your hands. Push your knees down. Exhale and fold. Inhale, let's come up directly into Malasan. Mala Garland is a seated squat. We have two minutes. Danny, but please keep the tape rolling if you don't mind. Yes. Let them cut us off later. Keep the tape please. Heels are closer, toes are out, palms together. Push the uh, knees back with the elbows and hold. Exhale, extend your legs out in front of you. This is Supta Namaskara. Both your hands to the right. Exhale and dip. Inhale, exhale to the left. Inhale back, let's come into prone position. Ashtanga Namaskara, Ashtanga. Eight limbs, chin, chest, hands, knees, and toes. Inhale, tuck your toes in. Drag your knees closer to your torso. Peel your hip off the floor. Hold for a second. Exhale. Uncurl your toes. Straighten your legs. Inhale. Press with your palms. Lift your torso up. Cobra position. Use your low back muscles. Exhale. And release. We're going to come into Salabhasan. Salab is locust. Tuck your thumb in. Wrap the four fingers around over your thumb. Tuck your fist into your pelvic area. Inhale, lift your knees off of the floor. Exhale, and release. Bring your arms out in front of you. Inhale, lift your chest, keep rolling. <laughs> lift your chest and your knees up at the same time. Inhale, and lift. Exhale, and release. Hold on to your left ankle with your left hand from behind. Right ankle with the right hand. This is Archer's Bow. Inhale, lift your knees and chest off of the ground. Hold your position, not your breath. Exhale and relax. Press with your palms, curl your toes in, lift yourself off, bring your elbows on the floor. This is a wonderful rest position. Keep going, Danny. We have one minute to go, please. Come up in plank position. Press with your palms. Lift your knees.